Okay, y'all, so it's 7.28, or 19.28 in Army time, on a Friday evening, and I forgot to pull up the information <laughs> for uh, tonight's podcast, which is sponsored by Hip Rock Productions, LLC, with your host, essentially Q, also known as Q Moore, who is me. Uh, the business hashtag biz my leaders, aka the Wolfson. You guys can tell I'm tired. <laughs> I am tired right now, and um, was actually doing some recording on this mixtape I'm trying to work on, and things of that nature. Yeah, it's been like a long time coming, so I decided to you know try to do a little mixtape and make something happen, make some fun stuff happen, but um. With that, we got to get on with the business side of things. So this is the business side of what's popping off and what's going on and things of that nature. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know uh, what week this is. Okay, so this is week 64, sessions 306 to 310. So that's perfect. That's perfect. And let's add some music so I can actually kind of wake up a little bit. <laughs> like I said, I'm tired right now. And you know, we could actually... No, nah, I need something to hype everybody up, so... There we go. That's the one that's, that's going to do it. Which is perfect. Okay, so ladies and gents, welcome to another edition of... The Midnight, well, not the radio show, my apologies, but the hashtag Business Minded Leaders, aka the Wolfson Friday podcast or something. <laughs> I told you guys I'm tired, right? It's been a very long day, so bear with me. Well, we got some great content we're going to do for you guys. we in session 64, no, week 64, sessions 306 to 310, which is beautiful and perfect at the same time. So you know what? Let me go ahead and just go and start with the post. So you guys ready? Let's go. So on August 21st, 2017, which was a little solar eclipse, I think I was halfway asleep through it. I think I was tired that morning, whatever. So it really didn't get a chance to see it, but it's all good. I called the one in 2012. It's actually one of my album covers from one of my instrumental albums, so that's perfect. But anyways. I said, um, I ain't gonna say the Spanish part that have put, so I'm gonna say it in English. Through the darkness, light will always prevail. So it was a perfect opportunity to have it with the solo play. And basically, what that means is that even through dark times, whether it be in this world or just anything in general, light will always truly prevail through the mist of the storm. Even when you go through moments of life inside your business or just life in general, the light will always come through. The thing is, you just gotta believe within yourself that the light will come. Because most folks like to stay in darkness for, I don't know what reason, it's not cool in darkness. But it's always good to be into the light. Just once you are into the light, it thinks truly it's more beneficial and better. And things become better. But when you dwell in darkness, you don't see the greater things that come. So always stay in the light. Never into the dark. And on August 22nd, 2017, on the Grind Tuesdays, I said most folks tend to take the road that's straight and easy. It's better to take the road with curves, so that's it's how you grow in life. Basically, ladies suggest. Everybody, I'll be honest, what's that dude's name? Kevin Hart? I was watching one of his um, comedy acts, I think about a year or two ago. To me, Kevin Hart's not all that funny, he tries too hard. I mean, he got some little jokes here and there, but he's not all that great. I'm sorry, Kevin Hart, if you listen to this, man. You are a great performer, that is true. But some of yourself is kind of like a hit and miss, bro. Not hating. Just saying. Do anybody's a Kevin Hart fan? Just saying. But he says something in one of his introductions for um, one of his comedy acts. 
and the mantra was everybody wants to be successful but nobody wants to put the work in and most folks like to take the easy road where you got the money you got this you got that you got everything that you ever want but the thing is this we call that the fast track in life when you go on the fast track of life what tends to happen is you crash and burn very hard and when you crash and burn hard it is not a fun feeling because you actually be 10 times way worse than you were before. So that is the time where you just have to say to yourself, it's really worth it for me to go and take the straight path where everything is so much easy and things that I don't learn nothing to where you get across that bump in the road, <laughs> you tend to fly high in the friendly skies and then you crash and burn. Or... Do you go ahead and take the road that got curves, got the bumps and things of that nature, and you learn from it. And then your true success will come from that. Like I keep saying, success doesn't have to be financial in a sense. Of course, that's what we all try to achieve a little bit to get the freedom. But success could be many different things that you're working on. Different ideas or different solutions or... You know, just different problems, not close to it, different problems that you can solve so you can be successful. Because then you can help other folks, and then you know the money things start to come from that. But at the same time, you have to continue to trust within yourself that you are able to do and accomplish those type of things. Because not many folks have the type of mindset of, okay, I can do this and I can do that. Because most folks, you know, tend to be afraid and they tend to just be scared of the things that they want to do. So, to let you guys know that if you really want to take care of business from a higher level, and you want to be successful, you're going to have to take the road that got the bumps and the curves. And the reason being is because you learn as you go. There's going to be some points in life where life is going to really drop kick you to the point where you're going to look at life and be like, what in the heck is going on? And you know, you guys hear a lot of times. You hear from, I hear from different mentors and things of that nature when they say, you know, that their bank accounts have been empty out and then, you know, they work at their jobs that they hate. They push through for their family and things of that nature. At the same time, they were still working on their passion. They go to the dreams that they wanted to do. While everything else is happening, they wanted to quit and stuff like that. I'll be real. There'll be times where I'll be wanting to quit, but I know my purpose and I know my why and I know what I'm doing this for. Like, trust me, I would not be doing this podcast if it wasn't for a reason that I'm doing the podcast. I would be telling you guys these things each and every Friday if I didn't have a passion to do it. I'll be doing something totally different. You guys already know, I'm a music producer that's entrepreneur. But at the same time, for me doing music, I like to do other things and doing this podcast and, you know, give you guys motivational tips or whatever, or actually like tips from my point of view, it's way different because you don't, you don't hear it from too many African-American males from South Central Los Angeles. Come on, well, we're going to be real with that. But no matter where you're from and things of that nature, if you try to be successful in life, you're going to go through the road that has a whole lot of curves and a whole lot of bumps. Life is not going to be like a Hollywood movie where you take a look at the actor and the actor, you know, well, the main protagonist and things, you know, just have a happy, happy, happily ever after type of scene where everything is just all great and grander. Nah, life ain't like that. Life ain't no Disney movie where everybody's happy and the birds are singing the same. Please, life is way totally different than what you can ever imagine. And it's on a whole nother level. And if you're not adapt to towards that level, then you're truly going to be lost. So I'm going to let you guys know right now, if you are trying to be successful, or like Kevin Hart says, everybody wants to be successful, but nobody wants to put the work in, guess what? If you don't want to put the work in, then you're not made for success. You're made to be a slave in a slave race. I mean by a slave race, I mean the slave race of the slave's workplace basically. Working for somebody else's goals and dreams as opposed to working for yours. And that's one thing that us as entrepreneurs, we hate that. I personally hate that with the most utmost passion. Because why should I be slaving working for somebody else for their goals and dreams 
where in true reality I could be working on mines and doing something greater for my family straight up but you know what there's too many folks and I keep mentioning there's too many adults that's afraid to make moves because family is involved and things in that nature and as much as I want to say some other type of words I ain't gonna say on the podcast tonight and whatever I'm gonna just keep it on the clean version here's the thing if you are an adult or as opposed to you are an adult and I you guys hear me elaborate it each and every time, each and every week for a particular reason. Because, to be honest, no such thing as an adult. The reason why there's no such thing as an adult because most of those are adults. They're actually just big behind kids that throws tampers. And if you look at Donald Trump, he's one of them. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't care if some of y'all are Trump and acts or whatever. But he's one of them. He's a big kid that's throwing a temper and you're the president of the United States. Certain things you don't say on Twitter. I'm surprised Twitter has not been shut down. But you know what? It is what it is. Because most folks, you know, elect the idiot into office. But that's another story for another topic. But the reason why I had mentioned what I had said, though, that certain adults don't take care of business is because they're afraid to move on. It's like, what are you afraid to move on for? Or what are you afraid to grow from? You know, just make something happen. You don't got as much time as you really think. So it's always best to go ahead and just almost like ball out and just take care of business you know but most folks don't want to take care of business because they're too afraid of what the what ifs the what if this happened what if that happened who cares about the what ifs that's where the curves of life comes from because you're going to have to go through those what ifs to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish period and i'm not just saying that just to say that i'm saying that with a passion because it's true need more folks to act like adults as opposed to acting like little kids and throwing trans- tantrums and getting mad over little things and stuff like that. I mean, come on now. 2017, y'all. This year is almost done. August is almost done. And I said it before earlier this month that August was going by pretty fast. We're now in August, what, 25th? 26th is tomorrow. Next thing you know, it'll be in September next week. I told you guys this in the middle part of June. Watch when the summer hits. Watch how the year's gonna be flying past by. Look at it now. We almost getting towards the end point of 2017, almost getting close to 2018. So you guys still got time by God's grace to do what you need to do in order to be, you know what? Let's forget the mantra in order to be successful, in order to establish your family generation. We're gonna change it up like that. So let's get on with the next post. So on August 23rd, 2017, one official Wednesdays, I say when your passion hypes you up, you would then know that you're closer to your dreams more than anything else. I'm going to tell you guys a great example. You already heard me. I'm a music producer as an entrepreneur. I kind of lied a little bit because I'm a little bit of an artist as well, too. I know how to freestyle rap. I know how to sing just a little bit. I'm multi-talented with different things that I be doing. And there are certain gifts and stuff like doing art and whatever, you know, kind of put to the side a little bit and stuff like that because you know I gotta get the inspiration from somewhere but when you do get hyped for um, either, either, either one of your talents that you have I kid you not it makes life and everything so much more easier like I said before I was gonna push out a mixtape why well, you know because I've been freestyle rapping since I was little so I decide why not just put one out you know cause hip hop is so big and to be honest Part of my musical background is hip hop, R&B, jazz, classical, and especially funkadelic. Coming from South Central Los Angeles, yeah, my grandparents were playing the funkadelics in the 80s, man. I come from that era, <laughs> so I mean, come from that background. So go ahead and just um, what you call it, and to the music like that, it's embedded in my blood to do what I'm doing. I don't think my sister will eat those things I'm eating myself. So, uh, far from that, and I think it was like earlier this month where, yeah, it was earlier this month, and I mentioned the story how I connected with a good number, good number of friends from different states. One cat was working with the music with. Um, he sent me a track that him and his people were working on. I listened to it. It got expired. Got inspired from that, and just from this month. I kid you not, it's been great things. It's just been like boom, 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 boom. And I've just been hyped. Even, I'll be honest, I'll give you guys a good example. I was at um, recording 
not too long ago. <laughs> Burnt out. But I had a little burst of energy to actually do a couple of tracks, you know, a couple of freestyle tracks in there to actually see what kind of theme I wanted to do for some other instruments I want to use. But at the same time, from that, I just got hyped up my passion. I'm like, I'm actually really doing this. Like, I know how to edit and stuff off the laptop forever. But at the same time, it's like, you know what? Let me be real with my passion that I've been blessed with to do and not just keep it on the wayside. So it's my time to go, you know, somebody be like, well, you know, we got some recorders up with, with Q used to freestyle rap. And then folks be like, the dude's talented and why he didn't do nothing with it? Oh, because I was scared to do something with it. You know, so it's like, nah, you know, if I got the talent and things of that nature, let me go ahead and push it out. And I'm going to be very authentic and do what I'm going to do. I don't care less what anybody thinks, what anybody says, because I'm going to do me. <laughs> you know, you know what? How about you guys say that for yourselves too? Y'all going to do you and you're not going to care what anybody else says. So do you, or as we say in the hood, do you, boo-boo, and handle your business. Straight up. You know, you can't just be, you can't just not do you and everything, you know, and handle your business and stuff. I mean, be, be yourself. And that's the thing I see in so many of these um, entrepreneurs and business type people, whatever. I see a whole lot of suck-ups. I see a whole lot of suck-ups in my job a lot, especially my managers. They suck up a lot to the higher-ups. And I'll take a look at that like, like, like y'all sucking up to somebody else because y'all begging somebody, you begging your boss for some extra stuff. Nobody got time for that. <laughs> especially you a grown behind, man, you got a family? Nah. And you know what? Should I do that one? Yeah, let me go ahead and do that one. <laughs> I think I'm just going to need to go ahead and do the Woman in the Dragon remix instrumental by yours truly. Yeah, okay, it's instrumental. I thought it had the tagline with it. We about to go into... You know what? Let me change the topic up real quick. We about to go into boss who be bosses and things that they just be sucking up to the higher ups. Ain't no time for that, so... We're going to go to the next topic, which was August 24, 2017, Daily Tips Thursdays. I said one word, one word, and I want you guys to apply it to your life. One word, and that is prayer. The reason why I put that as one word is because, and I know some of you guys don't believe the beliefs I believe, which is all cool, and Danny, as I always say in my podcast, Y'all going to have to talk to God as to why um, you ain't holler at him in a long time. So that's between y'all and God. Whoever you may be that's listening to this podcast. But me and my relationship that I have with the Father up in the sky. I'm going to let you know right now. Prayer works in all things. And the reason why prayer works is because God will show you things that you never seen before. And he will also show you things that he done for you many times in the past. It could be something as simple as buying some water if you're out and about and you only have about 50 cents in your pocket but somehow, some way, the Lord made a way for you to buy a dollar fifty cent bottle of water to keep you refreshed. Now some of y'all might say, that sounds kind of cliche. It does sound, it does sound cliche. The reason why it does sound cliche is because if you really look at the like picture of it, that's like, wait a minute, where do you get the change from? The Lord will provide when you holler at him and you be real with him and don't be like, well, Lord, you know, thank you for it today. I'm going to sleep. Um, Can you handle this thing for me? You know, I'm going to go ahead and just do my dizzle and do me and I'm going to let you do you and I'm going to just go ahead and just talk to you next week. No, 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 no. You got to talk to the Lord 24-7, yo. You got to holler. At the Father in Heaven and let Him know what's up. Trust me. He will come at the right time for whatever situation of issues you're going through. And I know some folks tend to get mad or some folks be like me, you know, be kind of impatient. I learn in my walk not to be impatient. And I've been very patient with certain things. I know there's some other things, you know, that be looking kind of grimy, like, okay, Lord, well, you know, I need you to come through for this. But like I say, it comes at the right time, and prayer always does work. The crazy thing is, you have to be careful at times 
on how you pray for certain things. Because the Lord will give you certain things that you ask for. But as for us Christians, as we know, those certain particular things is not the way that we want it to be. I give you guys a good example. The job that I've been at for four and a half years, it's been a blessing that I've been there. It's also a curse with certain things that's happening there. But through the little crazy part, so when I come to learn is that you can't look at the outer of what's going on. You got to look at the inner. Sometimes you got to look inside yourself. And the funny thing is, even though I'm, you know, grateful I'm still here, there's been times that the Lord has used me to talk to certain individuals over at my job about certain things. One-on-one with different people. And it's crazy. It's crazy. It's I'm not missing a thing. It's about five or a couple people that I really had like a one-on-one deep talk with them because they were dealing with something. You know, make sure, you know, mention the Lord inside the conversation too. And, you know, they relate to it. So I'm like... And then, you know, once the conversation is done, they feel great. You know, the friendship is stronger between us. It's like, yo. The Lord would keep you somewhere for a, partic- for a particular time in order for you to reach certain people that can be reached by other folks. What I mean by that is You'll come across some folks in your life, whether it be your job or whatever. And, you know, you can be friends with them. And, you know, we all, like I keep telling you guys, each and every one of my podcasts, your boy's a Christian. I'm not perfect. I will let that be known first thing you need. <laughs> and the reason why I would say it is because I know I'm not perfect. I got a heck of a lot of flaws that needs to be fixed. It needs to be worked on tenfold. And I'm not ashamed to say it either. Most Christians are ashamed to say it because they try to be so self-righteous and everything. It's like, you just sin in already. You try to be self-righteous. You cannot be self-righteous. How can you be self-righteous if you're still dealing with sin? <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying? I don't think you hear me, so you might need to replay this part back again to actually understand what I just said. But other than that, though, it's like the Lord provide for these sandwiches with the little chili that my grandma made yesterday for some cheese and some blue blueberry cheese while wow, some chunky blue cheese dressing on the bread. Can I tell you that the Lord is good, y'all? The Lord provides. The Lord provides. I'm telling you. It was a barbecue sauce soup. We need to make them homemade sandwiches like that. Like I told y'all before, I'm from South Central Los Angeles, man, so, you know, we... So, you know, for those of us that's from the hood and everything, you know, we, we know we, we know how to make certain things and whatnot. And this fucking be bomb diggity. So after this podcast, I got to do some little study in regards to the music stuff. But other than that, though, at the end of the day, like I said before, prayer works. But the thing is, you really have to believe and trust God that he's going to do what he's going to do. But you also have to do your part. Because if you don't do your part, he's not going to move. He's not going to move until you start moving. Once you start moving and start doing your part, guess what? He will be moving. Then again, God is moving, but he's trying to see what are you going to do as well. But most folks don't see it that way. Because most folks, that's us humans, we want everything now, 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 now. Well, we have to be patient at certain times before we try to get certain things or be asking for certain things. And then when you get that certain things out the way that you want it, trust me, the Lord will show you face to face when you really, in the moment with Him, He will show you how you ask about a particular thing. And now you're looking like, uh, okay, <laughs> you know. So you truly have to be careful as to what you ask God for, what you ask God about. And just truly, ladies and gents, 
Um, just be grateful for, for what you got. Period. So, wherever you're in trouble or wherever you're in need of something, talk to God, man. Talk to him in prayer. I, I kid you not. He will answer you. It may not be then and there, but he will answer you. And I had to, I had to, I had to say that word, and had to post that up on Thursday. Not to say what the reason was, but that was brought to my heart to tell you guys that. So, as we get to the end of this podcast, let's go to today's podcast. So for today, August twenty fifth, two thousand seventeen, boss says phrase. I said. Actually, let me rephrase that. I've been blessed by the Most High to put, to understand what's causing issues in your realm, you will have to face the issues head on. I can easily say what well, the issues cause you have in your life, but I say your realm, your outer, your inner and outer circle. You know, and I'm flushing this bug in the toilet. <laughs> but. When you have issues that's happening around you and you try to figure out what's causing it, you're going to have to face hurts and issues head on. But when you do face them head on, make sure you talk to God first and foremost before going into battle head on. Because once you go battle head on, you're inside the battle. <laughs> but if you go into the battle with God, I'm telling you right now, things would be so much more better. Because now the battle is less than what it was before. So this gonna be moments in life where you're about to go through some trials and tribulations and things. It's gonna be some issues with friends and family members and things of that nature that's going to come at you foul. To the point where, you know, we all come to the we all have occasional cuss somebody out or you know get ready to want to fight. Or some of us had to throw down before. But at the end of the day, find out what the issue is. You deal with the problem head on. You don't run away from it. The moment you run away from it, it's the moment you start chasing. So you have to fight the problems head on. But at the same time when you're doing that, make sure that God is right there by your side. With you in battle. So that way you can sustain yourself. Because I'm going to tell you right now, there have been many times where you know, I had different battles to where I've been wanting to tell somebody off, but then the Holy Spirit be like, uh, close your mouth, close your tongue. And my spirit, I'd be like, Lord, let me get him, let me get him. The Lord's like, nah, I'm going to take care of it. You just shut your mouth up. Just, you know, let them do their thing. You stay quiet and just, you know, move on. Don't worry about it. I got you. <laughs> and can I tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a blessing. There have been some times, you know, when brother has to live. Like I said, it ain't perfect. But there's also been times you continue to grow in your faith and grow in more maturity that you truly, and I kid you not, you truly start to let folks talk and you stay quiet. Because folks, when folks are showing the ignorance, <laughs> all you have to do is just laugh. Because at the end of the day, they're going to come back and apologize to you because they have seen their ignorance because somebody had called them out and it's completing this. So, whatever issues you may have and things of that nature that's in your room, fight them head on. But have God with you on the side. At the same time, let's keep on pushing. So with that, ladies and gents, I'm done with this podcast for tonight. I'm about to eat and probably go to sleep because I'm burnt out. <laughs> but you know what? I want to thank you guys for tuning in to tonight's podcast with your hopes. And at the same time, by all means, ladies and gents, continue to stay blessed. Have a great evening. And with that, I catch you guys next Friday. Catch you guys Tuesday. Not quite sure which beach we're going to be going towards, but we're going to be somewhere. So stay tuned for a video podcast. Uh, I'm going to try a new format up this time. I think for the Friday podcast, I will have them up along with Tuesday's podcast. Ahead of time, so like whatever I did the podcast on Tuesday, that's gonna be up. And when I have the podcast on Friday, that's gonna be up. That way, I won't be trying to do the little switch around like I've been doing lately, and it's been you know kind of like it's been easy, but at the same time, it's like okay, taking up too much time. So I'm gonna just actually do like this. 
every podcast that we do on Friday, we'll make sure we upload that. You know what? I take that back. We'll do everything on Tuesday. <laughs> everything will be a great extravagance, extravaganza on a Tuesday as opposed to me try to do it on Friday and then post that thing on Tuesday. Nah, I'll just keep it the way I have it. With that, though, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. And some of you guys go watch the Mayweather fight. We already know Mayweather probably going to win tomorrow. All we know he does, he dances and he hugs. He's a good defensive when it comes to offense. I'm sorry to you Mayweather fans, but me come from the era where folks actually hit somebody. Uh, and the puppies barking crazy again. Messing up the podcast like they messed up the radio show yesterday. Other than that, you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace out. More love. Deuces. <laughs>